गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ टू द पॉइंट टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द स्टेट ऑफ द ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वाइज इट इन द न्यूज रिसेंटली वर्ल्ड मीटियोरोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिलीज द स्टेट ऑफ द ग्लोबल क्लाइमेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री रिपोर्ट नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू मेजर हाईलाइट ऑफ द रिपोर्ट Record high ocean heat content attributed to anthropogenic climate drivers. Contrasting heating and cooling patterns in the North Atlantic linked to the slowdown of the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation. Global average sea surface temperatures reached record highs with exceptional heating observed in various regions. Increase in marine heat waves and ocean acidification posing threats to marine ecosystems. 2023 marked the warmest year on record with accelerating glacial retreat and antarctic sea ice loss surge in renewable energy generation offers potential for mitigating climate change and challenges in climate financing underscore the need for increased investment in adaptation and mitigation efforts now let's discuss about socio economic impacts of weather and climate hazards Extreme weather events exacerbate food insecurity leading to crop and livestock production losses. Population displacement strains resources and exacerbates social tensions particularly in conflict affected regions. Economic losses due to damage to infrastructure and disruption of livelihoods hinder economic recovery and exacerbate poverty. Climate related disasters widen inequality gaps and affect progress towards sustainable development goals global economic stability is affected by rising food prices disruptions to supply chains and increased humanitarian aid expenditures now moving on to india related observation from the report india experienced an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events including heat waves floods and cyclones The country faced challenges related to food security with crop and livestock production affected by climate related hazards. India's renewable energy sector saw significant growth indicating progress towards clean energy transition and climate resilience efforts. Now let's discuss about World Meteorological Organization. It is an intergovernmental organization with 192 member states and territories. It originated from the International Meteorological Organization established in 1873. It is a specialized agency of the UN for meteorology, operational hydrology and related geophysical sciences. Its headquarters is located in Geneva, Switzerland. Now is the time for practice question. Which factor is primarily responsible for the contrasting heating and cooling patterns observed in the North Atlantic Ocean? Shifts in wind patterns, changes in ocean salinity, variations in solar radiation or slowdown of the Atlantic meridional overturning circulation? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching. For more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications